So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th electron tutorial and it's app time now. So we're going to create an app with electron framework using JavaScript, HTML and CSS and that would be called as crazy images. I have no idea why I have named that but that's what I'm going to call it. So what this app would be all about is that you can actually as a user access a file on your computer and then it will load up and you can apply a bunch of editing filters and uh, save it back to your computer. Pretty simple logic but hell a lot of exciting to implement. So let's get started. Now before starting what I want to do is show you how the final app would look like. So this is how it would look like this is an actual app right so we would be able to open a file and let's just say I open e1 which is this electron file right uh, which is the thumbnail for the tutorial number one and now we can make use of these effects right here on the right by increasing brightness or maybe contrast a little saturation or maybe just grayscale it a little bit Invert it, anything like that and then you can finally save it so <clears throat> that is how pretty much this application would work and uh, as you can see on the right I have already created a folder crazy images with index.html index.js and package.js file which says this is the best image editor better than Instagram why not because we're gonna make use of CSS3 filters so and we do not have to worry about cross browsers as well because we are just working for Chrome, right? So <clears throat> let's begin. So for our index.js, and one more thing, I'm going to make use of Angular for this project so that we can create a couple of pages and route them and accordingly apply some controller logic and all that good stuff. So it would kind of make our code less noisy and uh, would get the things done quicker. So let's begin. So let's begin by importing browser window, an app from Electron, from right there. Again, I'm gonna say let boot is a function which would be fired whenever our application is ready. And I'm gonna say app.on ready boot. I'm going to register my main window here just like uh, it says me to do and uh, you can just make use of null or not. It's up to your wish. I'm going to say window is new browser window and uh, let's just give it a width of 700 height of 500 and uh, as you can see in the final application we did not really have the <clears throat> main toolbar of the windows right or any other operating system as a matter of fact so I'm gonna say this is frame false okay next thing I'm gonna do is say win dot load URL which would load our application and inside template literal or rather string literal I'm gonna say DIR name now this is for Windows I'm not gonna target Mac for now so if you're working on Mac just make sure to include that particular or you can just go ahead with the relative path only if you wish to on Mac right now because a DIR name for is for Windows so I'm gonna load index.html right here all right well that's pretty much it and the next thing we can do is just get web contents and uh, open dev tools. Now this would pretty much make our life easier because this will just automatically open developer tools whenever this window is created. Right? So let's just take a look. I can go to um, CD and CD crazy images and we can I guess it's not visible. So we can say electron dot right here and you can see that our that we get our window which is frameless and the developer tools are automatically opened right cool 
Next, we have to design our index.html file. So the title doesn't really matter right now because uh, you can just give it crazy images if you want. And then in body, I'm going to say that this is content. And then finally, we need a header, which would be um, containing those close, minimize, and maximize buttons. So I'm going to say this is option. And the first one would be maximize or minimize or whatever it is. And what I'm going to do is actually make use of HTML entities to show that text. So I already pretty much have these pages opened, which are the Unicode characters for heavy multiplication, which we'll be making use of as cross. So this would be HTML entity for multiplication, which would be our close button. And for maximize, we're gonna make use of this one. And for minimize, we're gonna make use of this one. Right, so, yep. And then finally, if we take a look what we have got, you can see that we got these three buttons right in place, but a little bit messed around because that should be full width and they should be together, right? So let's just fix that. I'm going to create another file, which is style.css. And inside our index.html, let's just import it just like that. And for style.css, let's just do some margin 0, padding 0, box sizing, border box, some resetting. And then we can say that uh, our header is display flex. And I guess before doing that, yeah, I guess that would be okay. Flex direction would be row reverse. We want that in row and on the right. Justify content. Uh, it isn't actually required, but we can just give it. And I'm going to say this is WebKit app region drag so that we can just make it draggable. Right. And for now, we can just give it a background of black. For the option, we can say this is padding of 10 pixel, 25 pixel, which would be padding left, top, top left, bottom, or whatever it is. I, I'm always confused in this order. It's something like uh, top, right, then bottom is again 10, and then left, or I don't know, I have to see that order. But anyways, so we have got the option here. Let's go to font size of uh, 40 pixels, cursor, pointer, and I do not want these to be draggable, so no drag. And then finally, just like we created our toolbar earlier, we can say background red for now. So if we take a look, you would see that we get this looks good, but uh, let's just say color white to this and we'll be all set. So yep, we are done with our header. Not really because we are missing these functionalities and uh, this kind of looks way big than I thought. So let's just drop it to 30 had it or maybe 25 would be good yeah okay so that is how pretty much we get started with our app and we have completed not really completed because the functionality is still missing from this toolbar but more or less we are close to completion of header and uh, that is all for this tutorial and in the next one i'm gonna continue with the toolbar and developing the main app so if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one